Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? Ooh. Welcome to the San Antonio Lifestyle Show here on Genex 99.1. Brenda and Linda here. Guys, I am Brenda and we are bringing you live stuff from San Antonio and the people who are making a positive difference in our city. Like our guest today, comedian Johanna Estrada. We're excited about having Joanna on our show today to find out what's going on in her world. And boy, does she have a world to talk about. <laughs> Un poquito. Un poquito. Uh, just a little. And I'm Linda Pearson. I'm the founder, besides being a co-host of the show, I'm the founder of the Scooby Band of San Antonio, and we're a literacy nonprofit charity, and our goal is to make sure that every child in Bear County owns a book. But the mission really is to bring the community together to make that happen. So we've got a lot of cool products, and you'll be hearing about pro projects, and you'll be hearing a lot about that as we go along. Um, and I'm also Brenda's business partner, and our company's called Life Stuff Co. And we're a media marketing company, and we serve the community through this radio show, through our magazines, and through our marketing and PR services. It's all about sharing those who are making a positive difference in the city. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Um, and then Brenda is going to tell you a little bit more about what she does. Hey guys, so I am the owner of Saving Our Way, where I teach the community, get this, how to save money through couponing. Woohoo! So I work with the San Antonio Express News and Houston Chronicle offering doing what? Free classes, guys. So I am the founder, oh, I am also the founder of Women Unlimited, an online women's empowerment group, guys. Super excited about that. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Thank you, Center of Advanced Wellness, for your generous sponsorship, and we'll be telling you more about them later in this show. Thanks so much, Center of Advanced. Okay, so real quick, while we, um, we may see somebody at our cameras here, so do we need to slow down for a second? Sorry for our listeners. No, go ahead, go ahead and go. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep improvising, we're good. Yeah, good. So, a uh, quick update in, the, in my Groovy world. We've got Groovy Giving Library. So we, had, we talked a little bit about those back at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so real quick, for those of you who've never heard of a Groovy Giving Library, <clears throat> it's actually a location where it's kind of self-sustaining, where people at the location donate books and then kids and adults, actually, kids can come and get free books. And so the idea is we'd love to have Groovy Giving Libraries all over the city. Uh, at the end of the year, we opened up two, the very first two Groovy Giving Libraries <clears throat> at the Bear County Courthouse. So we're excited about that. So you'll be hearing more about that. It's not officially done yet because we're trying to come up with a book box design that's all groovy and functional, but it doesn't cost too much. So that's the challenge there. And then uh, upcoming, we're excited because we partnered with the Witty Museum. And so on March 23rd, we phone. are going to be the there middle. from 10 to 3 for their eighth annual New Year, New Year, uh, sorry, New Year, New You event. Van will be there and will be giving away free books to kids. There will be many organizations from the community there as well to help kids and families learn more about living a healthy lifestyle. No, no, no. <clears throat> so we just launched our new Gen X magazine. So Life Stuff Co. just launched the new Gen X magazine. And on the cover is Mari Gonzalez. Try to get the Mari, uh, yes. Talking to the to the behind the scenes view on the Facebook Live. So, all right, hear me saying things. Try to get the glare off. Okay, <clears throat> and so we just launched that. The electronic copy is on LifeStuffCo.com. So check that out. There's also Kindle and print version. That's right. And so guys, we also want to tell you guys about, you know, we're just doing all kinds of things, aren't we? So we want to tell you guys about our very first town hall meeting. We will, this is happening already, guys, this Friday, March the 15th at 12 o'clock. It will be a Facebook live event for our live stuff co-Facebook page and we'll be broadcasting it from Center of Advanced Wellness. Our guests will be Judge Cynthia Chapa and Monique Boyd. Woo! Oh my God. Not going to lie. I am super, super excited about this, guys, because um, it's something that we've not ever done before. No. So to work with these brilliant judges to bring this, and other you know, and other people to bring this show alive, I am excited. And so that's going to be, uh, so you're on the Life Stuff Show Facebook page. So that's going to be Life Stuff Co. It won't be here on the show page. It'll be on the co page. So it's lifestuffco.com, Life Stuff Co. and Facebook. And so we will be right back, though. We need to take a quick commercial break. We can't just start talking to Chona just yet. But we Chona are excited e. to. Say hello, say yeah. hello. Ayo, ayo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't go away. We'll be right back to the San Antonio Lifestyle Show here on Gen X 99.1. All right, guys, but you are still with us behind the scenes, so we're, we're making it stoked happen. about that. We're just taking a minute break. 
They gave me but a you shirt. Keep talking. You keep talking. Oh, Look at okay. this. Sorry. I know. She's got a shirt. So My Travel Vibes Apparel. Check them out at MyTravelVibesApparel.com for the logo merch. And it fits like a glove, let me tell you. I told her, I said, so you know what it means when you give you we give you a shirt, that means if I'm ever not here, you have to fill in as co-host. <laughs> oh, mira, me van a poner a trabajar, manita. I love it. <laughs> Nothing like putting you back on the spot. Yeah, exactly, right? <clears throat> okay, we're going back. You ready? Yeah, but we have the music turned up. That's fine. I know. <clears throat> that was no good. Okay. <clears throat> you got some action on the live feed on okay, Facebook. Okay, so welcome back to the San Antonio Life Stuff Show here on Gen X 99.1. We're Brenda and Linda. We're bringing you life stuff from San Antonio and the people who are making a positive difference in our city, like our wonderful guest today, Joanna, comedian Joanna Estrada, a.k.a. also known as Chona E. So yes, welcome. Yes, welcome, welcome. Thank we are you so for having me. To we have you so here. excited. So, and, and we were, we've got some questions here we want to ask you, but real quick, I need to ask you, so what is, where did Chona E come from? What is that? Uh, so Chona, the nickname came from my father. Uh, growing up, he used to always call me Chona. Um, and Chona E uh, was born whenever I wrote the um, I Like a My Fat parody, which is a, a spoof of uh, Cardi B's I Like It. There you go. And, um, oh, so Chona E, Cardi B. One of the, one of the okay. lyrics was, yeah, I mean, they, they call me Cardi B. And I said, yeah, they call me Chona E. So okay. um, my last name is Estrada. That. So it worked. That's Chona E. That's a great story. So what is, to, for people who don't speak Spanish, what is Chona? Does it stand for anything? I don't know if it stands for anything, but the behind this, the backstory of Chona is that my dad said I reminded him of this lady that used to sell um alcohol out of a paleta cart oh, in Mexico. Oh. <laughs> he said she was just very out there, no yeah. filter, just a crazy oh funny woman. And yeah, he yeah. said, you're Chona Maro La Vinatera. And that's oh, what... Um, uh, how old were you? Just little? Oh, yeah, probably about nine. No. Oh, yeah. oh my <laughs> so when gosh. my nickname happened, about nine years old. So I've always been this crazy, guys. <laughs> okay, so for those people who've been living under a rock, right. who aren't familiar with you, so tell, <laughs> so tell us a little bit about you, it. Joanna Estrada. Um, you, you know, I'm, I'm just a regular person who's just filling, fulfilling a passion that okay. I, that's been living deep down inside my soul for just ever, you know, and, uh, I, I, I've been given such a platform to be able to do more, bigger and greater things and, and that passion. So, um, you know, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I work full time and, uh, you know, every now and again I get to, um, do Chona stuff. So that's me in a nutshell, guys. So when did all that start? <clears throat> you know, it's always been funny. Yeah, I mean, I actually get the personality from my mom. Definitely my mom. Um, my dad's also very witty, but my mom was always kind of the class clown of the family. Um, she is. Oh, my goodness, guys, you, sh you should meet her. But yeah, I, I pretty much get that personality from her. So I think that it was uh, in the genes. When I, well, when you I know what? Um, what about school? You know, we did talk a yeah. little bit about that. You said you went to school. What year was that? And yeah, so I graduated. What got you there? Was yeah, this that's a good question. Young? Yeah, so I decided I really wanted to do this uh, more professionally when I was in high school. So I, I joined the drama club and, uh, you know, was overseen by Linda Adamy, who is still, you know, who still is a social media friend of mine. But um, in my senior year of high school, I, I thought uh, we were at a UIL competition and I saw a, a a flyer on the wall with little taggies you can take out that said, um, you know, join AMDA, American Mut Musical and Dramatic Academy, and it said New York City. When I was 15 years old, my dad, instead of a quinceanera, he took me to New York, and I told him, I will live here one day. So, sure, sure, Chona. So when I saw the opportunity to audition for a school out there, an acting school, um, I went for it, and I got accepted, and nice. I moved to New York in 2002. It was literally a month and a day after 9-11. Oh wow! Oh a lot wow! Of fun. That's crazy. Like yeah. <laughs> it was a very interesting <laughs> getting leaving, there. Yeah, yeah. I, I I moved there. You're uh -huh. from San Antonio. I born and raised. Just yeah. moved to New York. Oh wow! I was 18 all by myself. You know. Now as a mom, I don't know how my dad did it. Because <laughs> I'm like, comes right girl. Now right now. I'm like, so to my daughter Chloe, you're gonna stay here close to mommy. But yeah, and then I I lived there for a year, mm -hmm. and then um, the campus expanded to a more film-based um, type of curriculum. And so I decided to move to the Los Angeles location and live there for three years to try to pursue a dream that just kind of fell through after a few years. Oh, wow. So yeah. but you came back here then? Yeah, I came back to San Antonio. I married uh, my husband, who was my high school sweetheart, and we started a family. And uh, 
in 2018, I like my fat was born and people liked me and I'm like, this is it. I'm not going to give it up now. I'm not going to give it up. It's my time. You being you, which, yeah. is, which is great, right? Turn Absolutely. your passion into your profits or your paycheck, right? <clears throat> From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the when plan. When you figure that out, we'll tell you how to do it. What right. do you like best about what you do? What I like best about what I do is that um, I get messages from people that say that they, um, I help them get through their day or they, you know, um, I didn't have confidence and watching you have this confidence and being able to be so vulnerable in front of a crowd makes me feel like I can do it too. And, um, you know, your age and doing what you're doing makes me feel like it's not over for me. Those types of things. <laughs> It's, it's like, sound like you're 65 okay. or eight right. Years. Well, and, and, and the thing is, in Hollywood, I'm 38 years old, might as well be 68, no. you know? Yeah. So, no, uh, no, I, no. 60 I, is the new 40. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, I believe that. Well, and I know that to our viewers, when we first came on, you told us a little bit about just all the fun that you had at Fiesta now that we're on radio. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Was it exactly, I know that this was something new for you guys down there. Tell us all about it, girl. Yeah, thank you. So, um, I did Fiesta last year, right, on a smaller scale because it was kind of coming back, right, from, from the pandemic and such. Um, to compare Fiesta 2020, 2021 to 2022, there's absolutely no comparison. Um, for example, I, I was invited this year um, by the director of NIOSA. I did see that video. You did Girl. a live with him. Mm. Correct. Wow, and, that's cool. You know, uh, Chona E is very, um, she's very loud. She's no filter. <laughs> she's got a mouth of a sailor. And I don't often get asked by radio stations and directors of <laughs> NIOSA to come be, come out, you know, yeah, because of that. my persona. So the fact that he reached out to me and said, we need Chona E to come and bring the party to Nyosa. So they said Chona E, baby. So Correct. So knew. I was like, okay, so they want me as I am, as Chona E, right? Um, so it was cool. I mean, I had, you know, he gave me the VIP treatment. Well, and it looks like we're expecting it. I'm like, come on, girl, what's the punchline? No, so right, so right. We can have her back as Chona E, then, right? That's <laughs> girl, you're going to have to, you're going to pay a lot of money for all the bleeps you have to do shoot. <laughs> oh, never mind. Whoops. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, it was great. And, and we did Nyosa last year as well, and we just went on our own. Yeah. And I got recognized a little bit. It was yeah. cool. This year, we couldn't even move an inch oh that I kept goodness. getting stopped and I people love, taking pictures. And people. It was a really great feeling. It made for good content. Okay, so for our listening audience, because we talked about this for our viewing audience, so for the listening audience, talk about the video you, that, that just happened with Fiesta. Tell us a little bit more about the video. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, Chona E was featured on a Bean and Cheese Met Fiesta music video this year. Um, you know, some, some important news there is that um, I've been named, uh, Chona E's been named as a, one of the newest cast members to Bean and Cheese Met. So uh, with that, I'm going to be doing a lot more content with them. Mm -hmm. um, we premiered our Fiesta music video. And for those of you that uh, follow Bean Achievement, you know that they are, I mean, it's just they're, they're, they're the, the CEO of Fiesta, um, as I like to call them. So I did a little bit of rapping on there. And uh, I think total now the um, video has uh, a little under 140,000 views. Yeah. Oh my and goodness. I'm not sure how you many shares are happen though. It, Girl, I mean, a million. Thank you, thank you. A million. How, does, how do we find the video? So you can find the video on any Bean and Cheese Met platform. It's okay. called Bad, Bad Moms Fiesta. It's on YouTube. Nice. You can actually stream the song on Apple Music, Spotify. Download it everywhere. Listen to it. Bump it. Okay. Have a good time. There you go. There you go. I love that. I love that. <laughs> So what advice do you have for anyone interested interested in doing what you do? Yeah. I mean, kind of tell us seriously, like the background from when you were thinking about going to school, then you went to school, and then, so this was a dream, a passion to do what, and then this, you get married, it's so many years later, so for you and for so many people, it might not just be an overnight fame, like you have to put real work into this. Tell us just the journey. So, um give you the cliffs notes of it my first week of acting school i asked actually my first day of acting school i asked my dad to um take me back home whoa okay there's a start whoa. i felt <laughs> but like people need to hear that i had such a big head because san antonio express news covered that i was accepted and 
I was getting all this love and I was like, pues ya, ya estoy famous. Yeah. You know I mean? like, why, why do I need to go to school? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So when I got there, they gave us the simplest of lines to do and it was this. Do you hear this? I do hear it. That's all it was. And when I finished doing my rendition of that line, right. the, the acting teacher says, how did you get in here? That was oh, awful. How oh. that even enough to evaluate something? And I was like, what the heck? So, um, and every acting class after that just kind of ended on that note. It oh was very God. much like, you're bad. This is bad. And I came from theater acting and, and we were always taught to be over animated with our things. So maybe and they were just picking up on that. That one, the New York thing. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, and it wasn't even New York that scared me. I was like, they didn't like me, dad, bring me home. Oh, um, oh, so to fast forward to when I moved to LA and once I graduated the acting school. Oh, wait, 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 I didn't hear that part. So you went to New York, you came back to San Antonio. When did you go to LA? So actually I went from New York to LA. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I finished the, the, the acting conservatory there. Oh, cool. um, and uh, once I graduated, in my mind, I thought it's going to be straight audition and this and this and that. Well, reality set in my dad's, which is the best thing he probably could have ever done for me. My dad's, uh, I guess our agreement was, you don't want to go to real college. Then as soon as you're done with this school, you're done financially, like you're cut off. Okay. So I didn't realize how expensive it was to live in Los Angeles oh. and found myself living there another two years working three jobs and... Um, just to pay the rent. Just to pay the rent, yeah. And uh, and I was in my 20s, I'm not going to lie. Any free time I had, I was at the bar. So um, I just didn't really do anything with it. And then, you know, came home and got married, had kids. And after that... I'm sure it stays, just, it stays in the back of your mind. This, this is well, you being you. So correct. when did you have the first chance to be you in that capacity here in San Antonio? Though? I hope my brother's still watching because it's, it's really because of him. Uh -huh constantly telling me you can't give this up you can't give this up he uh, does camera for me he's my producer that produces my music cool. he's always been so musically talented and he's an editor and he does all these things and he's always like let me put you behind the camera again and let me make a video and let's make it funny and so we yeah. always did little wow. videos for That's years cool. okay. that we never posted on youtube correct so lots of it <laughs> and um the one video that we did that we posted got the attention of the local media so and they the were sharing it on the news slash Cardi it actually wasn't that one no. before that it was a uh, cooling off in the summer heat my husband's cutting the grass and i'm watering him down with the water hose and <laughs> we just made it funny we actually had gotten that idea from a couple in louisiana and i'm like well we need to do this in texas because well, yeah. it's just as hot um and it was at that moment my brother abraham said um you got to make this big like get yeah. yourself some platforms going and uh what, what, you remember what year that was that was 2018. So really, that was a math problem. Four years ago. Yeah, it was about four years ago, and um, you know, I, I immediately reached, or, or actually, I, I got connected with uh, my friend um, April Monterosa. I was live from the South Side. She actually helped me create every single platform: my yeah, Twitter, my wow. Facebook, right. my Instagram. Um, her and I started, you know, at the same time. So you know, just connecting with everybody right. and just everybody well, wanting to help. it is too. It's like collaboration. Right. You know, right. if someone right. wants to help, uh, you don't say no. Right. You say what time and where. Let us show yes. up. Let's go. Yes. I, and that's exactly kind of the support and love that I got to kick me off. Um, and then, so back to your question now that that's come full circle. Right. right. I get that started and I'm thinking, okay, it's mom's time now. Now I can do something for myself. My daughter, I yeah, think she was old seven enough. years old at the time. I thought, okay, thank you, Lord. I think I'm established now that my family's in a good place that mommy can do something for herself. I like when my fat comes out, goes viral. I'm getting all this attention. <laughs> I can't wait to listen and to And guess that. what, girl? Here's what? the punchline. Tell me, tell me. I, I got pregnant. Oh, I mean, that's a good thing. It's a beautiful it's a thing. thing. Don't get but, me wrong. But, but I'm oh. like, Lord, you have a sense of humor. You really so, so do. You just had the one daughter at the time? I just had the one daughter at the time and my husband, yeah, and my, our puppy. Um, and so anyway, we were blessed with our beautiful baby girl, Quinn. She's two years old now. And wow, that's a handful. Lord, she's a handful. My firstborn was like, okay, I'm independent. I can do things on my own. My two-year-old's going to be... Uh, it's, it's definitely been a challenge to balance everything now. <laughs> well, if they like a lot of attention, then you just dress them up and they put them in the video. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> yeah, well, she was, uh, my daughter's actually made a cameo in this last Bad Moms Fiesta video. I'm like rocking her to sleep, like, go to sleep. <laughs> oh my God, I just love you. Yeah. So I want to call our episode today, Chona E. Exposed, girl. Yes. <laughs> we're getting everything, everything. I'm an open book. You like, start asking girl, me about <laughs> The day you were born, tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom doesn't remember, so I don't know much. So how long have you and your husband been married? Um, this uh, April 19th will be 14 years. I've been with them wow. 20. Yeah. Wow, cool. I'm a good girl. Oh, she really is. Yeah. I mean, we did break up and, you know, <laughs> little things happen, right? But no, I mean, he just was, Super was part of the plan. Oh, this guy, you have no Tell idea. Tell us about it because about four years ago, you said, hey, you know, it started happening right. for you. Right. And uh, so he sees this and he says, oh, my God, I'm married to two women, Joanna and Chona, Chona e. e. What the heck? What's going on? Right. I'm the luckiest man on earth. And what do you tell him? <laughs> uh, duh. <laughs> no, he's, he's really, it, I don't know, I'm not going to lie. It was a little, it took a little bit of getting used to uh, for him. Well, because but everybody's trending you. Yeah. He's known Chona for years. Right? He's not, yeah. He know, okay. He was not surprised that it, um, that I got the attention that I get. And he's not surprised at where it's growing now. Um, he's my biggest supporter. But it's, it's in our Mexican culture, mom's at home with the kids. That's just the yeah, way that it you're is. Right about that. And um, you know, obviously like we're we are involved and, correct. The uh, most and, 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 <laughs> and changing and washing and cleaning and cooking. And um, you know, the evolution of women, it's just so amazing because he is not he totally backs that. Like Billy has never been one to say, No, I don't like what you're doing because you need to you need to stay home with the kids. Yeah. Um, he's quick to jump in where I need the help. He, he picks up the kids after school. He wow. cooks, he cooks, he'll help with laundry. I mean, I just, and he works a full-time job. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, wow. he does. He does. And you know, not only did the, his time get compromised with the family because of Chona, but then I started a fitness journey and then I started spending more time away from home because I was at the gym as well. And he said, your health is important to me. Keep going. I, I don't care if you're, you know, not here until eight o'clock at night. Wow. Keep doing what you're doing. So, and then, it, then, the, you know, it starts getting into where he's like, okay, wait, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to figure something else out. So now my gym time is during my lunch hour, just oh. so that way I'm home after work and, and then you'll be a mom correct and, and i do the volleyball with my daughter and wow. we run around with chucky that's what i call my two-year-old chucky the scary doll um <laughs> we run around with chucky and and hubby gets his attention and we're so does, we balance it all so does the little one take after you is that what i'm hearing girl yes she does mannerisms and all oh my god well does she take take after you or Tona? Tona? Like what is she? It's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. At the end of the day, she's gonna be a comedian because her timing nice. is just impeccable. Hey, so you can tell that at age two. At age two, I mean, it's just the simplest of things. My the daycare teacher said the other day, Oh, I don't know what's up with her attitude lately. I said, Oh, oh you're just noticing? <laughs> um and she goes, We were about to start singing the nursery rhymes, and Quinn goes like this on the desk. <sighs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I'm like, that is, and she goes, and it's so funny. And I'm like, yeah, that is pretty funny. Like, how can a two year old not want to sing the wheels on the bus? Like, I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> That's my kid. Well, you know what? I'm going to go back uh, to your husband because um, I saw you do several lives with your husband. Yes. So, huh? During the so, pandemic. Yeah. yeah. So, what's going on there? Did so it he, continue today? Like, is it something that he likes with doing? He actually doesn't mind. He doesn't mind it. We don't do it as much because. Um, well, yeah, because I was like, what? Wait, who's this guy? Oh, that's her husband. That's my husband, yeah. So during the pandemic, we would get really bored, and my family was yeah, very good that. about keeping the distance. His family was keeping the distance. My family was keeping the distance. So, um, you know, and we were the Friday night family get-together. Everybody have a few beers. That's what we did. And so we weren't able to do that, so him and I would go live, have a couple beers, and talk with the fans, and... The, we asked the fans what they wanted to see, and one time they wanted to see me put makeup on my husband, and I did, and he was totally down for it. And then another time, they're like, "Have your husband put makeup on you?" And so, 
I mean, we just had a really great time. A lot of the stuff that the fans really like are the prank videos that I do on him. I don't get to do them as much because now he knows. Yeah, he knows. See, what He's happens like, when he follows yeah, you? Know. Wait, 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 wait. You can't sneak up on him? I tr I, and it's not so much scare stuff. It's like things like... I don't know. For example, there's this new trend that I really want to try. I don't want to say it, but he anticipates because everywhere I go, he's like, where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> Especially knows, if I girl. get my phone. Because he's like, when you're in the house? In the house. He's he like, yeah, I'll come and correct. He knows I'm up to no good. So <laughs> as soon as he sees me, grab, where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> so it's it's been a little hard to keep him on the, on the content oh, rotation. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, well that was my question because I was like, oh my god, can we pull out of her? They're gonna have their own show. Just hubby so and people, people you know, and it's great because we he gets recognized out in public as well and wow. he's like babe, people were <laughs> and I said, Well you're you you're funny dude. <laughs> he is. What I thought you, know, you guys did I'm sorry. Together. What does he do? We are hey, we are your average Joe family. My husband is a truck driver and I work claims <clears throat> there you go oh, yeah. that's cool and on the side they just have freaking Sign fun yeah, yeah and then yeah el otro lado, aquí, allá, you know what I mean? that's fun that's so fun. hey well i know that you are working with um samantha and nina tell us a little bit about that you know that's actually been super duper cool um you know as How i mentioned earlier meet? good question so a an intern of theirs um reached out to me and wanted to connect because she was doing some social media influence stuff on the side um aside from working with bean and cheese man and uh she's like you have to meet them like you, you and them would be a great partnership and so that's how we got connected and uh they invited me to join their first or, or one of their fiesta videos it was a hood rat fiesta video I was pregnant with Quinn at the time, really, really pregnant with Quinn at the time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, I mean, it was just perfect. Uh, and then from there, it's it's just really it was Samantha and I were the ones that hit it off. Nina and I have a nice relationship as well, but Samantha and I just really like became instant BFFs. And um, so with partnering with them both, it's I've learned a lot from the both of them. They are probably one of the smartest women that I've met. That is it's, awesome. It, especially within this industry, I you need to trust people and yeah. they're content creators and they've right. been doing media for such a long time. So they're definitely not only my friends, but they're my mentors. I go to them Love for it. a lot of stuff, yeah. So now, tell the, I'm sorry, real quick, tell uh -huh. the listening audience uh, <clears throat> the goal of Bean and Cheese May, which you guys are striving for. Yes. Yeah, so um, Bean and Cheese is uh, now a called the Bean and Cheese Show. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I've been announced as one of their newest cast members. Um, and the mission is to bring Saturday Night Live to San Antonio, mm -hmm. a sketch comedy show that will put to one there we go. So, and the Theo show, the Theos, is that what it's called? So the Theos um, is a Samantha and I do that together. Um, the Theos is girl, another I gotta thing look that at blew it three up three times for just one show. Have you seen their no, show? No, T I O apostrophe S. Theos. It's, it's actually it streams on the Bean and Cheese Man show platform okay. as well as the Chona E platform. Okay. Girl, it's hilarious. You don't what are you need guys doing? to be drunk to see that. Oh my so, God, it's so funny. It was so actually, funny. and I, you know, I want to give credit where credits due is because there is already a platform of a, a San Antonio Theo. This is a real Theo, and he's called El Chuntaru, and he's on TikTok, and he became instant viral for just being himself oh so samantha God. and i were thinking about creating content and she comes to my house and she says um let's dress up as men and do voiceovers of the tío chuntaru right yeah and i was like dude hilarious yeah. right so we did a little voiceover that. from it and at that moment we're in costume we got the mustaches on dressed and everything as dressed as men <laughs> and uh, she goes hey let's go Girl. live and see what happens Oh, yeah. I said, let's I go live that. and see what happens. We yeah. were live for 20 minutes, and it just blew up. People kept asking, when are the deals coming back? When are right. the deals coming back? So what, what is the what is it? So it's like an uncle, Mexican oh, okay. uncle. Sorry, Tito Mexican was, uncle. No, and the thing, no the enough. feedback that I get the most, and I think the, the feedback that I'm most proud of, yes. two, two proud moments of the deal so far for Sam and I, is the feedback we get from men. They're like, I know that guy. I I I, I, I have a deal. Guy. I am this deal. I am that deal. I have I have compadres like that. Oh and then my God, I love the it. second biggest compliment that Sam and I received was when we went to go film in Market Square at Fanfare 
as los tios, we were approached by so many men. ¿Qué onda, compadre? What's up, vato? Exactly. Like, it was left oh. and right. So we were, you know, we're doing it right. So, okay, you real really quick, are. like an mm-hmm. asshole. Tap so. into that crazy. So you got you and you got Chono, which is you. So now you've got, so this. So and Tio Chon. Is this, is this, Tio Chon. This is like another a character, yeah. version of Chono? Or, or do you just watch men and. He's, he's the drunk. <laughs> Male version. They always have a beer with of Chona. They okay, both always have a beer. Male Chona. So you just add the drunk and the male on top of that. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. And he's, but he's, but Dio Chona's mm-hmm. nasty. Like so, he's that so nasty where does that deal. Come? Just from stuff you've watched. Men well, you know. I yes, men I know. I'm to get the men harder. I know. This is. I, you know, my husband. Um, I love this. Not. My mom has uh, has 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 a lot of uncles that I grew up around. Um, and one of the uncles in particular, uh, who's already in heaven, he was the very blunt uncle. Yeah. And he said it like it is. If he met you, he's like, "Estás bien fea, la vida, estás bien gorda." Yeah, you're ugly. You're, you're, you're so fat. Or, or I mean, it, you know, it, he but was in just Spanish, in Spanish. It's it's funnier. It's in in Spanish, like you don't get offended. Yeah. You're like, "Pues yeah. que quieres que hago tío?" You know, so right. That was him. And anytime, and anytime anybody had a new significant other, they were oh. always so scared to, to introduce in. them to Tio Luis. Because he'd what be like, he say? Hombre, mira tus dientes, look at your teeth, your they're teeth. ugly, like, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. So <laughs> I, I get from him, my husband had other uncles there around, but in particular, shout out to Uncle Sam. Um, <laughs> when Uncle Sam is drunk, he mumbles and stutters a lot and talks real fast pattern so the old chon does that too the old chon will be like hey what are you doing what are you gonna come on come on today what are you gonna say what are you gonna say like that's how that's exactly her character <laughs> that's exactly what he does it's kind of a conglomeration of some guys and then the mexican accent where where the old chon kind of goes i like coming to this place <laughs> That comes from my dad. My yeah. dad speaks like that. Like that's how my dad really? speaks. My dad's not a vulgar man or anything like that. It but so it's, well. so it's a combination oh of a lot of tios. Um, and then my daddy's Spanish accent. Okay, so I love what it. I want just as an improviser. So what I want you to do is be Chona for a minute. Okay, a clean. Chona. Clean version Chona. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll try my best. <laughs> okay, and so you're gonna tell us like you know what what you got coming up or just whatever you want to tell us for Chona. Bueno, manitos. Well, let me tell you what I got going on today, vato. I'm over Woo! here at the Gen X and hanging out with the comadre. Woo! Like it's Brenda. Ah, uh, see, si, yeah, la Brenda. Y, y, but, yes, Linda. amigo. Linda. 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 Uh, well, how can you forget, manitos? It's Brenda and Linda. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> um, and aquí vamos a andar y pues a ver qué pasa, all right? That's right. Yes. See what oh, happens. Chona e. Chona e. So it's Chona in English, all Spanish, or both? Uh, Chona does both. Here's Chona, both. Chona's okay. Tex-Mex, puro Tex-Mex. So those of us who don't speak Spanish, we just get the gist of it. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, you just got to okay. tag on. Hey, I actually did have, at Nyosa, I had a Caucasian woman fangirl out when she saw me and I was like no. I made it man <laughs> and the white people recognize me I made it oh it was God. really okay, cute so now you gotta be the Tio guy Tio Chon okay Tio Chon's also gotta be clean yeah clean okay. how can they find you uh yeah, your tell listeners get, get to tell you in Tio Chon's yeah, voice okay where they find you on, on social media I mean, like, all right um all right everybody so I'm over here with this place with these ladies and um they're having a good time. They're treating me real nice. Um, they didn't have any beer for me today. They don't give me a bottle of water, but that's all right. So, well, you can find me and uh, and my, my niece, Chona E. You can find her and Chona E 2 and 0 on all the platforms. And uh, the Theos comes out every two weeks on Thursday with uh, my buddy, Theo Nacho, guys. Okay? Everybody have a good time. I don't know if it's a long time. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so what he said was, let me translate. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he said you can find Chona E on Facebook jo- as Chona E Joanna Estrada. Yeah. Why are you changing your voice now? <laughs> <laughs> she wants to be a Thea too. Uh, I've got this, I do have this other alternate person. Ooh, do let's it, hear do it. it. Do it. Well, it, let's hear it, girl. Let's go, it girl. It might sound like I'm making fun of people. It's okay. No, just no, do it. Her name was Squeezy Simonton. <laughs> and she worked at a Swiss sausage Swiss specialty Swiss sausage company. So she Say that seven company. times fast. So I called my friend. Yeah, okay, so about me. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> I'll tell you about that sometime. So oh Instagram, God. at Chona E210, <coughs> YouTube, Chona E, and then if you want to connect with her, Joanna, J-O-A-N-N-A, dot 
solisestrada at gmail.com. Oh my God. That's right. Ayo. So well, what's the next thing we're going to catch you in or see you in? Tell us, tell us. <clears throat> okay, guys. So the next thing you guys are going to see, I'm producing my very first comedy show. Really? Yes, my very first you comedy show. Here first, guys. And, and you right. actually are hearing it here first. I haven't even promoted it or posted it yet. Um, exposed. Yeah, exposed. Right. Yeah, exposed, exposed baby. What's it called? So it's called Bad Moms Brunch. It is a, a Mother's Day comedy show. Um, it's going to be held. Um, thank you to my buddy Bobby. He Love is it. going to uh, allow us to have it at his brand new and amazing comedy lounge called upstage comedy off of walsham road it is Very may nice. 1st and it is a different comedy show because comedy is usually at night but we want the moms to come out and have a good time get a little oh, bit drunk and then go I home to the kids that. right this is a mother's day thing, thing. so it's may 1st um from 2 to 4 p.m <laughs> we're going to be having some giveaways um bobby and his lounge is going to create a fun little brunch menu I the tickets that. are 25 dollars a person there's going to be bad. A photo op there, a free nice. photo op. Again, there's going to be some giveaways, and uh, the drinks and food are separate. But I'm um, telling you, we're putting on a hell of a show. We have Samantha Nahara hosting the show for us. I we love have that. Nina Dur Duran as our comedic feature. Nice. We have um, experienced comedian. She's been doing this 13 years and travels nationwide. Nice. Um, this is Irma Ruiz. And then we have our okay. uh, San Antonio viral sensation, TikTok viral sensation, um, AJ Rivas, who will be coming as Jessica 210. <laughs> oh my God, he's so funny. And then um, I will be closing out the show. Oh my God, that's yeah. fantastic. Wow. So you're going to officially announce this, so you told us you were going to announce this announce today. Announce this today. <clears throat> so we'll get that and we'll share that on the stage. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I love that. Well, you know what? God, how does the hour come and go? <laughs> like, that was fast. It was really, really fast. But we just, again, we just want to thank you so much. For coming in you are wonderful I know that this is not the last time that you're gonna be coming in so Thank definitely you. yeah when you're ready girl just call and be like hey, well, we, need hey have, we, we need to have you in a costume I know the listeners on radio won't be able to appreciate that but we've got the behind the scenes so we could show that your dress is very much is the same as Joanna dresses oh Theo yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah he's something uh, he's something special <laughs> He is something well, special. Drunk, we can go pick him up and bring well, him. Well, and then we tell him, if, if Theo Nacho, his buddy, comes, y'all need to be careful because he will be hitting on y'all. Oh, maybe we have We both. need to do that. We have both. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe well, we should both come if, and if we're flirting Samantha. with y'all. If our show oh. schedule is full, we'll have a special Well, and the show, thing, the and thing is, the is that the Theos are married. To each, to, to other women? To oh, yeah, they're married to women. But She's they're like, constantly, especially Theo Nacho, my buddy, he's the one that's always cheating on his wife. Oh. And gets caught and always gets oh. like beat up. Oh, he gets caught? Oh, he gets caught all the time. Oh, so Me, Theo Nacho, <laughs> only talked about cheating a few times, like, <laughs> but he doesn't really talk yeah, about it. You gotta life. watch it. We have, we're on season two of Los You're Theos. on season two. Okay, so where's Samantha? Samantha, where are you? We need to have both of the Theos here. <laughs> So you Live. Can be on the show. I'm tagging okay, her right so now. Tag her, baby. So you could be on the show for us doing our special show, but then you could also have that as an episode of your show. Yeah, you never know. You never know. We'll see what it says. You do whatever you want to do. <laughs> However, you can't. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I think, I think my buddy would like you guys. Maybe, I think he wants to, you guys to slip in the PMs. Maybe, maybe they kick us off and they become the host of the show. <laughs> yeah. You guys don't want that, let me no, tell you. seriously. Can, can we at least say hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I thank you guys for having us today. Get out of here. All right. So. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my God. That's oh, my weird. God. We're going to have to talk. Samantha, where are you? I give, us a, give us a call. Okay. Well, so She's probably in. still sleeping, La Pobrecita. She just got in from L.A., and I think she was stranded oh, wow. in Phoenix at, like, oh. 3 in the morning. So oh she's probably she still sleeping. She's been tripping L.A., so we'll hear Oh, about they that. did. They definitely made some amazing connections did out they? there. Oh. So proud. Yeah. I'm sure you guys will come out and, and tell us the secrets. Pues sabe que pasa, manita. <laughs> yes, of course. That sounds good. All right, guys. Well, dang it. We're this out hour. Here. We're out of town. We're out of time. But again, we want to thank uh, Joanna, a.k.a. you know, Chona E. And Theo. And Theo Chon and all her other personalities. <laughs> They'll just yes, live in yes. here. All right, guys, so let's wrap it up, girl. Let's wrap okay, it up. Quick. Brenda's going to tell you about what we've got coming up real quick to remind you since we told you at the beginning of the show, but here we go. Okay, because I still just want to talk to, you know, <laughs> I 
I still want to talk to her. I mean, we can't talk about what we got coming up. Okay, okay. So what we have coming up, uh, guys, is Brenda right over here. My coupon classes, guys, this is coming up April the 23rd at Center of Advanced Wellness from 12 o'clock to 1.30. Definitely get to my website at saveitaway.com and go ahead and RSVP there. Now, we're super excited about our women's event already happening May the 7th. Uh, we had uh, 60 tickets, guys. We have something like maybe five to 10 left, so do not hesitate. Go to eventbrite.com. Is it eventbrite.com? Uh, and just type in Women's Unlimited and get your tickets there. Now, you know what, guys? We do have um, a special guest that's coming that day. Uh, she is going to be speaking. And actually, this is Nina. So, Johanna, this, Joanna, this is Nina. So, we're super excited. What is her last name? Nina Duran. Nina Duran. Yeah, so she is going to be one of our speakers. So what's up, Nina? We are just super, super stoked. That, I just tagged her. Yeah, tag her, girl. We're just super stoked that she is coming in. So definitely, like I said, the tickets, you know, went on sale. And within a couple of days, we're already almost sold out. So do not hesitate, especially if you want to come in and meet Nina. Um, you know what? Uh, she's a fantastic entrepreneur herself. Yes, yeah, she So is. she is all about women supporting women. And uh, definitely, you know, we wanted her to come in. She accepted. And I was like, woohoo. Now, if we get lucky, and I mean lucky, then we may be able to convince Joanna here uh, to come that day. What? <laughs> you can't be dressed so. like a man. <laughs> I don't know. You may like them. I don't know. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway guys that's kind of what's going on in our town hall meeting is um tell us about the town this hall friday. meeting this friday May what's 15th. going on tell us Coming about it pretty quick so every third friday of the month brenda and i have started a new concept called town hall it's the third friday of the month from 12 to 1 and it's us through our life stuff co our business uh, media company, company. <laughs> and the reason because we're giving back to the community so our first guests on the first show are going to be judge cynthia Chapa, judge Stephanie Joy. they're our guests we're going to ask some questions from the community they're going to answer them, <clears throat> and then the following month, uh, Judge Chapa and Judge Diaz will be our uh, co-hosts, and then we're going to have new events, with new hosts, co guests, excuse me, but we can't tell you who that is yet. Oh, all right. We'll actually announce that coming up. So all right. So that is, again, on our Life Stuff Co. Facebook page, you'll be able to catch that. And then also, <clears throat> real quick, the uh, Scooby Van update, April 23rd, mark your calendar, <clears throat> 10 to 3, we'll be at the Witty Museum, but... Is that correct? Sorry. New year, new you. <clears throat> no, I think that's March 23rd. I'm sorry. Back the truck up. March 23rd. All right, back <laughs> the van up. Back the Scooby van up. Back the Scooby sorry. van up. Yeah, because that's the following weekend. So coming up, March 23rd. Not this weekend, the next weekend. Get yourself to the Witty 10 to 3, free books to kids. They're going to have a lot of uh, vendors there for new you, new year, new you. And they're going to be teaching about how to live a healthier lifestyle, which is a wonderful thing. <clears throat> All right. We got a, oh, real quick. We've got a new Groovy, groovy Giving Libraries Facebook page. So check Ooh, that out. Oh, that's we right. Just started. You want to follow along because you're going to see as. What is a Groovy Giving Library? <clears throat> it is a, a place where kids can go and get free books. Is there so, dancing involved? There can be. If okay. you, want to you better come out and get groovy, guys. Put your bell bottoms on and get a book. Oh, we're actually going right. to have a groovy gala coming up, too. Oh, oh, oh. We're a fundraiser for the Scooby Van. It's going to be in costume, 70s type of thing. That's somewhere cute. in October. So. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. going to be all you kinds can of get fun. Your character, your guy dressed up in his groovy clothes to be there. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> hey, we'll make you the MC of the event. Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. Who could be groovier? So, that is yeah. going to be all kinds of fun. Yeah, Theo John's, yeah, he's a pretty groovy guy. Yeah, <laughs> so that would be hilarious. Okay, so our next show, not next Tuesday, the following Tuesday is 426. We are going to have the Masked Foodie of San Antonio. Wow. No, that's that's a lunch of bar. We love what he, she, I, I, I think, I don't even know. Is it a he or a is. she? I, I'm just going to say we're going to have them on the show. Because <clears throat> sometimes I think it's a guy and sometimes I think it's a girl. So I just, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't met them yet. We're, we're trying to hook up before the show, get together before the show, and do some more PR. But we'll that see, sounds we'll see like if we fun. Can do that. Go out and eat ramen because we like ramen. So shout out to SA Lunch Door. <clears throat> okay, so we want to thank our sponsors, Brenda. You want to 
Yeah, oh, so center oh center of advanced wellness. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. Definitely for all your health and beauty needs, just go to saving. Uh, I, I'm talking about saving our weight. Sorry, <laughs> go to center of advanced wellness .com so that you guys can check out just again all your health and beauty needs. It's a great thing, and also we want to thank real quick. Uh, we've got a new sponsor for the Scooby Van Kid Illustrated. It's a book series. They are kid illustrated books. Are books illustrated by kids? All of the proceeds for these book sales support the Scooby Van. So check that out at <clears throat> kidillustrated.com. And then we got My Travel Vibe Apparel for the <clears throat> merch, the logo merch. So thank you, Rudy. Sure. <clears throat> check thank them you, out Rudy. at mytravelvibesapparel.com. That's right. And you know what? I think we are going to end right here, but we're going to let <clears throat> Joanna ta uh, go ahead and read that up. It's the very last paragraph. <clears throat> All right. All right. right. <laughs> All right, a little special thanks to one of our new show producers for today's show, our producer, Sean Steele. Learn more about what Sean does at www.seansteelstudio.com. That's seansteelstudio.com, everybody right behind me. Hey, how you doing, baby? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, we are excited to have him on board. S-E-A-N, S-T-E-E-L-E, -E -E, Studio. I see we're going to have to spell that out all the time. <clears throat> all right, hey, sounds amazing. So, uh, that is it. We ran out of time. We ran out of time. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Oh my gosh. That's okay. There's not enough hours in the day, guys. Not enough hours in the day. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys. We are gonna let you go. Thank you so much for Thank tuning you guys in. for having me today. Oh, it was yeah. a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, talk to you guys later. See you guys next Tuesday. Again, this is the lifestyle show with Brenda and Linda. Linda. And then whatever she wants to pop up. Um, right over here, our special guest, Joanna. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye.